G'day, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about car parts. Um, I've mentioned before, car parts in New Zealand seem to be really expensive. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't notice quite how expensive they were until I tried buying service parts for an Alfa Romeo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of show you the difference between buying locally and buying from the other side of the world. And you'll see why I buy from the other side of the world. So let's get into it. Right, so I've mentioned before that you buy a car in New Zealand at the lower end of the market, or maybe the mid-market too, and they've never seemed to have been maintained adequately, in my eyes. Um, they seem to go skip oil changes or do oil changes where they don't change a filter, which just doesn't make any sense. Uh, they don't change pollen filters, air filters are a big deal, spark plugs, oh, they never get changed. Um, so you've seen it on some of the project cars we've had. They've had like, fuel filters from 94 that I've only just changed out now and um, all these other bits that really should, should you just take care of them because they're cheap and easy and you get it done, the car will last forever. Um, but no, not, not here. And there's a good reason for that. Uh, parts are just so darn expensive. Uh, so here we are. This is the, the stack of parts I just got for the Alfa Romeo. We've got a Wix air filter, we've got a Borgenbeck cabin filter, some Bosch oil filters. I've got three of them all up and eight different spark plugs because it's twin spark. So the Alfa's got two spark plugs per cylinder. I didn't buy those in New Zealand. I bought those online from DIY car service parts in the UK. I've been using them for a long time. Um, great company to do with not a sponsor but reliable you can get whatever you want shipping's cheap and before the pandemic pretty quick and love buying stuff from there in new zealand these bits ain't so cheap uh, so what we're going to do today we're going to compare what i paid for these parts with what i'd pay for them locally now I say locally none of these most of these parts aren't in stock at my local parts store you'd have to order them online so they probably take just as long to come here as buying from the UK but we're going to go over that so let's compare DRI car service parts with our local motor factor Repco all right we'll start off with oil filters uh, for the Alpha I went with a Bosch one Perfectly adequate brand. I think there were slightly cheaper options. I think there were more expensive options. Uh, but can't go wrong with Bosch. Been around forever. Make decent parts. Uh, the one I took off the Alpha was a Ryko a Z690. Again, Ryko make decent filters. Nothing wrong with those. Um, similar. Do the same job. How much do they cost? Right, for the Bosch one. Now I bought three of these, so we'll give you the price of one and at the end we'll tally them all up. Uh, one of these was $5.52. All prices, New Zealand um, dollars. So $5.52 for one of those. Right, local parts store, how much was one of these? One of these, price correct today, whatever day this is in July 2021, $64.99 for an oil filter. Something that probably costs less than 50 cents to make. $5, $65. Yay. All right, next up, air filter. All right, it's quite a big air filter, I'll give you that. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I bought a Wix one. Can't beat Wix quality. Probably the best air filters you can buy, really. I try and stick to Wix. I like Wix. Uh, a Wix WA6742, one of those. I paid $11.76, New Zealand. Right, uh, an equivalent, equivalent Ryko from the local Repco that wasn't in stock, that had to ship in, $114. It's a big filter, but it's still just a bit of paper and some foam and a little bit of mesh. Again, a dollar, two dollars to make that shouldn't be costing $114. Uh, 
Um, cabin filter. Cabin filter. Oh, I just went for the cheapest one. There were better brands available, but they're the same ballpark, but it's a cheap car, so I've got a cheap filter. And it's cabin filter. Who cares? Uh, so that one, a Borgen Beck. One of those. That was $5.80. Uh, for the, what do they stock? Uh, Repco. So it's their own brand, cabin filter. Um, actually, the one listed for the car at Repco is not the right one for the car. So they're already kind of losing out. But the Repco one that they think is for this car, $156. Yep. All right, spark plugs. I went with Denso. Again, I, again, this is a cheap car. I just bought whatever was available. I didn't want the ultimate performance. I just wanted to change the old ones because you saw what they looked like, put some new ones in. All right, so one set of these are Iridium fancy ones because that's what they had. And the other ones are just pretty standard spark plugs. Denso, decent brand. Um, so yeah, what did these cost? All right, so. The K20 TTs, what do we got? They were, which are these standard ones? They were $3.84 each. And you need four of those, so $15.36 for a set of four. K20. Uh, then the Iridium ones, these are, these, these kind of stung a wee bit. Uh, IU22s, these were $18.44 a piece. Um, so 60, 70 odd dollars. So. Most of the money went in spark plugs. Compare that to Repco. Uh, what do we got? PM, uh, one of the one of the plugs, the smaller plug, smaller plug, which was an NGK whatever. Again, don't care what it was. A PMR seven A, which is that one, uh, sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents each times four. The other one which is, again, it's an NGKR, BKR, BKR 6E KPA, um, 37.99 each. So over $400 for spark plugs. And yeah, can you see why I bought them from uh, England now? Uh, so our grand totals, all up, including I bought three oil filters, so I can change it all three times. So three oil filters, eight spark plugs, cabin filter, air filter, shipping. Yeah, $124. That's pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Shipping was $14. So that's, that's not bad to come all the way across the world for that much stuff, especially boxes that kind of size. Yes, $124, and Repco, our total for a cabin filter, an air filter, four of those spark plugs, four of those spark plugs, and three oil filters, plus shipping at $7.50, was $892, just to service your car. Um, yeah, that's why I shop from DIY Car Service Parts, not a sponsor. Where would you shop from? So Repco are an Australian company. Um, can't feel too bad about taking business away from Australia. None of these products are manufactured in New Zealand. Uh, so I can't feel bad about taking away from there. Uh, online shopping in New Zealand, a year or two ago, they changed the rules. So if you buy online, you pay New Zealand goods and services tax, GST, at the point of sale. So the likes of Rock Auto, eBay, uh, I don't think they do it on DIY car service, but, so, but they will in due course. Um, you're paying your 15% GST anyway, so all your prices include New Zealand tax, New Zealand sales tax that you pay, they ship it here, and it's still way cheaper than trying to buy it locally. And it's available. It's never available here. Stuff, for part filters for an Alfa Romeo just aren't available here. Not sure why, it's just a, an oil filter. How hard is it to keep one in stock? But um, yeah, we get them from Europe, England. They come here, keeps me happy. We can keep on top of stuff, stops things from breaking. 
And yeah, so there we go. That's my little sub story. A lot of parts of New Zealand are way too expensive. Um, but they're cheap if you buy them from England. So there we go. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about those crazy prices. And we'll see you at the next one. Cheers.